Good morning Beulah, my name is Megan and I will be doing today's devotion. So today's reading is taken from Luke 10, 38-42. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset by many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So here Mary chose to spend time with Jesus, whereas Martha concentrated on all the things that needed to be prepared around the house. This can apply to us. Our lives revolve around achievements and doing actions that cause our success. Work, college, school, uni, anything really. However, when it comes to God, our salvation is freely given and doesn't need to be earned. I mean, how great is that? This can be difficult to grasp. I know I struggle. As all other aspects of our lives are dependent on our actions, we can end up trying to do good things to earn our salvation or to earn points. The centre of our lives is not in what we can accomplish for God, but who we live in the presence of. It is very important to remember that we do not need to rely on our own strength or our accomplishments to earn our salvation. If this were the case, nothing would ever be enough. The beauty of God's grace is that it's freely given to everyone, whether they have earned it or not. This is why it's vital to make a conscious effort to build an awareness of God's presence in the centre of our doing. When our awareness is first directed to the Holy Spirit, rather than external acts and accomplishments in spiritual service, what we do externally will have a far greater impact than it did previously. Put God at the centre of your life and in everything you do. Rely on his strength and not just your own. Your salvation cannot be earned, but it's freely given by the grace of God. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, thank you for loving me for who I am and not for what I do for you. I want to host you well by spending time with you and letting you love me. Help me be like Mary and sit at your feet, instead of like Martha, compulsively doing things for you that you never asked me to do. Give me a greater revelation of your love for me as your child. Amen. Have a great week everyone.